you would think I'm feeling fresh and energetic and overflowing with new material. Well, they say March comes in like a lion. And I would be lying if I were to say that was the case. If anything, I got more tired after taking a week off. It's funny how that happens. Happy to discuss if there are any issues. You never want to hear happy to discuss. I mean, happy to discuss is, first of all, that person made their point pretty clearly. Number two, you're not happy when you get that. So they're probably not. And number three, you're not going to want to discuss it. You know, it's better off saying I said what I said and then just moving along. I mean, people in the friend zone don't even get happy to discuss. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Um, I, I'm leaving you on red, but happy to discuss if there's any ambiguity with this issue. You don't want happy to discuss, man. Uh, instead of happy to discuss, I'll, I'll, I'll just use please don't. There's no need. You see what I said. I said what I said is way better than happy to discuss. I will always prefer I said what I said to happy to discuss because it's direct it tells you what it is what it is there's no like misinterpretation happy to discuss is like a small talk for people who hate small talk it's like oh happy to discuss it's like asking somebody who clearly doesn't want to talk to you hey how are you doing and they're like oh fine fine <laughs> they don't want to discuss them with you but if there's any problem with my particular take on this, I'm happy to discuss. When it, when it comes to movies, I'm really bad with movies. And I always feel the peer pressure. One of my go-tos was to tell people about the never seen Titanic. And I still haven't seen Titanic. I've been telling people ever since Titanic came out, and I haven't seen that movie. What am I missing? But I was watching the Academy Awards, I saw Parasite, I saw all these people excited, and the peer pressure hit me because I was like, yo, I can't even talk about how I haven't seen this movie because now everyone's like, you need to see this movie. Well, damn it, I saw Parasite. And you know what? I liked it better the first time I saw it. It's uh, National Frozen Food Month. And uh, this is a legit thing. Like, it started in 1984 because March apparently is the slowest month for frozen food consumption, or at least it had been. And so now we have a month that is supposed to encourage people that frozen food is okay to buy. And I just wonder how it's holding up with global warming. I mean, you have to really think about the fact that frozen food, in a time where we should all be thinking about climate change, it's a real issue. Anyway, I'm really just here to say shout out to all the people who didn't stop celebrating black history just because it's uh, it's March. We're just coming off of a leap day weekend, and I look at, the, at, at, at this weekend coming up and see that daylight savings time is supposed to be gay. I'm gonna lose an hour of sleep because y'all want more sunshine. What sense does that make? I'm a night owl, so this doesn't work for me, and I'm not gonna be happy about it. I'm gonna spring forward and I'm gonna see y'all next week. That's all I'm gonna say.